Don't let a few extra pounds turn into a big issue. Try these 11 best tips to get your diet back on track if you gained weight over the holiday season or if your healthy eating habits have simply slipped a little. Stay tuned to Pars Health TV. Number 11. Start right now, not later. Don't put it off. Don't wait until tomorrow, next Monday, or next month to carry out your plan. Start with the next meal. If you shop for food online, order healthy foods to be delivered when you get home if you're planning on going away. If you're staying home, keep something in the fridge or freezer that you can quickly cook when you get back. Start as you mean to go on with your next meal and get back on track because it's easy to let the holiday slide into everyday life. Don't let the fact that you already ate a filling lunch, a chocolate bar, or a piece of cake today prevent you from starting something new. Number 10. If a drink is offered, select one without sugar. It's simple to consume a lot of calories from sweetened beverages. It can all add up, whether it's a carbonated beverage, fruit juice, squash, sweet tea, or a flavored latte from a coffee shop. Whether it's water, a hot beverage without sugar, or a diet fizzy drink, choose a sugar-free beverage. Number 9. Stop drinking alcohol. After a few drinks, you're less likely to stick to your healthy eating and exercise plans because alcohol has a triple whammy effect that makes it high in calories, increases appetite, if consumed in small amounts, and lowers inhibitions. You can stay on track by giving it up for a few weeks and then ensuring you have a few alcohol-free days each week. Number 8. Snack on fruit instead of buying biscuits. Having too many options is sometimes undesirable. Limit yourself to fruit or vegetables for between meal snacks rather than attempting to choose a healthy snack from the vast selection available in the stores. These are high in nutrients and low in calories. It also has the benefit of being a very simple goal, so you can easily determine whether you are achieving it. Avoid walking down supermarket aisles stocked with cakes, cookies, and sweets, and try not to be seduced by special offers on fatty and sugary items at the end of the aisle. Number 7. Eat only if you are truly hungry in between meals. When you are not hungry, it is simple to eat like out of habit eating or because you are bored. It can be challenging to break the habit of grazing throughout the day when you're on vacation. So make sure you eat three balanced, filling meals each day that are regularly spaced throughout the day. Then, if you do get hungry between meals, you can use the advice we've told you in the previous item and a fruit on hand. This will help you control your hunger. Number 6. Enjoy a healthy weekend. Even though we might typically relax the rules a little on the weekends or on days off if you're trying to lose weight, try to maintain your new habits as much as you can during the week. Even though a weekend can seem to fly by in a moment, it actually accounts for about one-third of our week, which means it can have an impact on your weight loss goals. Find healthier versions of your usual weekend treats rather than indulging in splurge meals out or takeout in front of the TV. Make plans that will aid you in staying on track for the coming week by choosing activities like gardening or walking that will keep you off the couch. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Number 5. Organize your meals. Although organizing your meals for the coming week may seem like a hassle, it will help you to set your goals and make it simpler to choose healthy options even when you are busy. Additionally, it might save you money by decreasing your propensity to eat out or purchase other convenience foods when you don't have any food at home. Create a shopping list based on the meals and snacks you intend to consume and only purchase items from them. Make sure you've included at least 5 portions of fruit and vegetables each day.
Number 4. Increase the number of vegetables you serve. Adding more vegetables and salad to your plate is an easy way to reduce the number of calories it contains. If you put this on your plate first, there will be less room for other, more calorie-dense foods. Even with fewer calories overall, you'll still get a variety of foods from various food groups. Another easy change that aids in reducing how much you eat is using a smaller plate. Number 3. When preparing food, use measuring spoons and cups. It may be annoying to weigh and measure each ingredient. But if your appetite increases over time, using measuring cups or spoons is an efficient and straightforward way to manage portions. For foods like rice, pasta, and breakfast cereals, measure out the quantity you usually eat on a plate, then find a cup or scoop that will fit it so you can keep it the same, or find a measure that is slightly smaller to help you reduce. If you'd like more advice on reducing portion sizes to aid in weight loss, consult a guide to healthy weight loss, which can show you how much of each food group you actually need. It's crucial to measure your portions when using oils and spreads. Pouring oil straight from the bottle can significantly raise the caloric content of your food since one tablespoon of oil contains 100 kilocalories. Use a teaspoon to scoop out the oil or a low-calorie cooking spray. Less than a teaspoon of oil is frequently sufficient for frying when using a nonstick pan. Number 2. Get moving. Although it's good for your body parts like the heart, exercise alone rarely helps people lose weight. However, it has been discovered that a combination of regular exercise and dietary changes is more efficient than either strategy by itself. Making an effort to be more active regularly can help you stay on track in addition to using up more energy. It can also have positive impacts on your mental health, which may inspire you to continue the good work. Number 1. Change what you can, even if you can't change everything. After taking a break, life quickly returns to normal. Despite your best efforts, this can lead to healthy eating and exercise becoming neglected. Make a fresh start and avoid this by concentrating on small victories and things within your control. Which one of these tips have you ever tried? Give us feedback in the comment section. If you enjoy the video, please like it. And don't forget to watch more of our videos on the left and right of your screen. See ya!